YouTubers, Pastor Bob. Well, I hope you guys are all having a blessed day. It's Friday morning, and uh, I was going through my devotionals this morning, and I came across uh, the Lord's Prayer in Luke 11. And Luke 11 gives us kind of a condensed version of that prayer. And there's a lot of people that repeat that prayer verbatim every day, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I wanted to explain just a little bit about what this is. Uh, it's Luke 11, 2, 3, and 4, and this is what it says. When you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. What the Lord is actually doing is giving us an outline. And these are areas that you need to touch upon when you pray. And the first one is, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. You know, I always thank God all the time when I pray for who he is. Can you imagine if God was God? He's still a God Almighty. He created everything that is, but what if he was mean? What if he wasn't a loving God? What if he was mean? People, he would still be God. So I thank God every day that he's loving, that he's kind, that he's merciful, and that he takes care of us. Next one, it says, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. I pray every day that God will come against the evil forces that are coming against me and that are also coming against this nation. And I pray constantly that God's will will be done on the earth and also in my life. And the next one, it says, give us day by day our daily bread. <laughs> People have more problem with that than anything else. People do, are not content with, give us this day our daily bread. People are like, Lord, fill up my bank account so I have enough to last me for 12 years. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Uh, give us this day our daily bread. People don't like that. But uh, that's the way we're supposed to live one day at a time. Are we supposed to plan for the future? Certainly. But we are to live one day at a time. And when we live one day at a time, that's what helps us to depend on God. Next one, it says, Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us. People, there are tons of places in the Bible where God says, ask anything and I'll give it to you. Jesus said this several times, ask anything in my name and the Lord will give it to you. And then right after that, he says, and if you have anything against anybody else, forgive them. Many places in the Bible, God tells us, if you're not willing to forgive others, God is not going to forgive you. You have to forgive others everything. And last it says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. You know, you can avoid a lot of heartache in your life if you will ask God to constantly lead you not into temptation. If you pray ahead of time, Lord, don't let anything come in my life that's going to cause me to fall. There will be so many things that you never even realized were about to happen, but don't because you pray that prayer. Lord, lead me not into temptation. That's one of those prayers that you say every day and you never see the results because God takes those things out of your way. So remember that. The Lord's Prayer is an outline. There's nothing wrong with saying it verbatim every time, but it's an outline. I thank God every day, every day for who He is. 
He's my Lord. He's my Savior. He's been kind to me my entire life. I thank Him that He has fed me every day. Because one of these days when food gets scarce, I'm going to want Him to remember He thanked me when I fed Him, so I will continue to feed Him. I ask Him to help me to forgive others, <laughs> because that's not natural. For human beings, that is not natural. And I also thank Him always for delivering me from temptation and keeping me from evil. Anyway, I just want to give you something to think about, a little tidbit for your Friday. Heaven or hell, you choose. Just remember, once you take your last breath, it's a done deal.